Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another lesson walkthrough and assessment. This is lesson three, updating screen elements from the physical computing unit. And I'm Mr. Russell. Let's get started here. And this is all about screen elements and updating them. The emotion machine, the emotion machine, let's take a look at the instructions. It's, uh, it's create an app that lets you select different emotions to display on the screen using the emoji icons. Do this, number one, add an event. For when the user clicks the happy emoji, the happy emoji appears, the icon color changes to yellow, the text changes to happy. Number two, add an event when the user clicks the sad emoji, the happy emoji appears. The hap okay, so these are typos. This should say the sad emoji appears because this is the sad emoji button. The icon color changes to blue, the text changes to sad, and also number three, add an event for when the user clicks the meh emoji, the meh emoji appears, the icon color changes to gray, and the text changes to meh. Okay, let's do it. Oh, better check the rubric though. Extensive evidence is that the finished app matches the description with each button correctly updating the icon and text and color. <laughs> there we go. First thing we're going to do is add an event for when the user clicks the happy emoji. And I thought that they had started us out with that one done. I don't know. doesn't matter. We're going to use the on event again, the on event handler. Our ID is going to be, this is the happy button, um, the happy button screen element, that would be this here. Uh, on click, we're going to, we need to set the property. So we got to tell it what emoji to display, like what image to display. So this is going to be the face image. That's this right now, the question mark. And the property we're going to set is the image because we need an emoji image. We're going to click this, drop down and click choose, and then go to icons. And we're going to select Mr. Happy Face, the Smilo. This is just a file path. It's a, it, it, indicate, it tells the computer where uh, to find the, the image in the directory, the file directory, whatever. So that should display the image uh, when we click the Happy button. We also need to set the color and the text. Let's set the color first. That's going to be... Uh, what color is that? Red? Yellow. It's yellow because that's a happy color. So that's going to be the face image. And instead of setting the image this time, we're going to set the color, icon color. And we're going to set that to yellow, old yellow. And then we have to set the text down here. It should say, I'm feeling happy text for Mr. Face Image is going to be uh, happy. Let's try it and see if it works. Yay! I'm feeling, oh, hey, wait, hold on. It didn't say I'm feeling happy, and that's because I made an error, and I set the text for the uh, face image when, in fact, that's a different property we're setting. It's this screen element down here, which is the description label. No, it's the feeling label. The feeling label. It's, it, sometimes it takes some trial and error to figure out, you know, which um, which element ID to select. Uh, this is the feeling label. Let's reset and run. I'm feeling happy. So if we select the wrong thing, for example, the description label, 
Um, how about the happy button? So it says happy now, but I think that this is the I, element ID for the happy button here. And once I rerun this, it should write this to it with the exclamation point. There it is. So we have set the text for the wrong element. Let's set it back to the feeling label. And there, there it goes. So I'm feeling happy. Okay. Next is add an event for when the user clicks the sad emoji. Okay. So this is the same process as what we just did. So let's just go ahead and click and drag, control C, control V, and then we'll pull this down underneath the comment. And, you know, why don't we just do that again? Whoa, ho, ho, undo that. Control Z. <clears throat> and then Pull that down here. There we go. Now we kind of have a template to work. So um, we're still using the same process. Like I said, the event handler for when we click the happy button screen element, it's going to execute these three commands inside of the green function um, bracket. But instead of the happy button, this is the sad button. Sad button. We click the sad button. We're going to change the face image, not too happy, but we have to find Mr. Frowny, Mr. Frowno. And instead of yellow, we're feeling blue today. We got the blue blues. And the, the feeling label is going, going to change to sad. So, sand, sad. I'm feeling sad. Let's try it. Run it. Sad. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. Okay. Next one. When we click the meh button, we're feeling meh. Icons, meh. Base image icon is yellow, and they wanted this one to be gray. And the feeling level, uh, the feeling label is meh. Did it work? Meh, sad, happy. That's all there is to the emotion machine. Again, we have created an event handler, which is a function that's executed when the click event happens on a certain screen element, and it will then call this function, which you know then executes the three commands or the code that's inside of the function. We set the prop. We set uh, the image property. We set the color property. We set the label or the text property in each of those cases. Let's. The last thing is check your work. Go to the rubric. Did we do it? The finished app matches the description, which e with each button correctly updating the icon and text and color. Yes, we sure did. That'll be an A. And I hope you enjoyed that one. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.